The world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the USS Enterprise, was laid down in 1958. It was built to a modified Forrestal-class design. Then it was the largest warship ever built. Its larger dimensions were dictated by the power plant of eight nuclear reactors. It was commissioned in November 1961. The high cost of its construction prevented five other vessels in the naval building program from being built. Although at the time of its introduction the USS Enterprise was the largest warship ever built, OT was soon exceeded in size by newly built Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers that were laid down in the late 1960s. The USS Enterprise was powered by 8A2W rasherized water-enriched uranium-fueled nuclear reactors. This aircraft carrier was equipped with four steam catapults for deckage aircraft elevators and carried two 520 tons of aviation ordnance plus 10.3 million liters, 2.72 million U.S. gallons, of aircraft fuel. The newer Nimitz-class aircraft carriers had similar air group in terms of size and configuration as the USS Enterprise. Like that of other U.S. carriers the Enterprise's ordnance has included 10 KTB-61, 20 KTB-57, 60 KTB-43, 100 KTB-61, 200 KTB-43, 330 KTB-61, 400 KTB-43, 600 KTB-43 and 900 KTB-61 tactical nuclear bombs, 100 KT Wally air-to-surface missiles and 10 KTB-57 depth bombs, while 1.4 metric tons B-43 and 1.2 metric tons B-28 strategic bombs could be carried when required. From January 1979 to March 1982 the USS Enterprise underwent an extensive refit which included the rebuilding of its island superstructure and the fitting of new radar systems and a mast to replace the characteristic ECM dome and billboard radar antenna that had been used since it was built. It was fitted with the same ASCAC, NTDS and Tactical Flan Command Center, TFCC, facilities as on more modern Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. In addition to its OE-82 satellite system, it also carried two British Scott satellite communications antenna units for use with British fleet units and NATO. These two systems were fitted in 1976. The USS Enterprise was deployed with the Pacific Fleet. This carrier was slept between 1991 and 1994. Since 2013 the USS Enterprise was inactive until it was finally decommissioned in 2016. This aircraft carrier was replaced in service by a new Ford-class aircraft carrier.